What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to delete your marketplace listings, even if you've already made a sale on them. So whether you're just a normal seller and you just wanna clean up your marketplace listings, but you can't get rid of those listings that you've already made a sale on, or if you're a drop shipper and you've made some sales on stuff and you're really trying to restart, or maybe you got an account back like me in this video. So I have a perfect template to show you how I'm gonna go in and delete a bunch of listings very quickly. So let's get into it. As you can see, we're in Marketplace right now. I just, I only clicked Marketplace so far. So go to your profile, click Marketplace on the left bar. And now that we're in Marketplace, I'm gonna go to Selling. And Selling is gonna show me all my listings. It's, like I said before, I'm getting this account back. So there's like seller verification and everything needed. But you can see these listings from last year. I had a, I had a virtual assistant on this account and they were just listing and it just didn't work out and I wasn't even paying attention. So. Uh, it wasn't getting any sales, but you can see there's just a bunch of just crap on here um, that I really want to start over and see if I can revive this account as an experiment. And I don't even know how many listings are on here. There might be 50, there might be 200, there might be even more. I haven't tried to scroll all the way down and find out. So if you haven't made any sales, you can just go right in here and hit delete and say you haven't sold stuff and it will delete things. But it's kind of a long process to do that. So the process I'm gonna show you is a lot quicker than that and will get you up and running a lot faster. So in order to delete these things fast, and this works with items that have sales. I know I showed you these ones and these ones don't have sales, but this is the same method I use on all my other accounts to get rid of stuff. So it's mainly about showing you the method. I It's gonna work for you. That's not really the question here. So. You're not gonna be in Marketplace at all. What we're going to do is we're gonna go up to this account button where the, your profile picture is in the top right corner. And we're gonna click that and we're gonna to go to settings and privacy. Now, if you already know this and you're just looking for where it is now because it's kind of changed over the years. I made a video that's almost this exact same video minus the extra tip I'm showing you. Previously, it's like my most viewed video, but it's changed a tiny bit since then. So we're gonna go into settings and privacy, like I said. And on here, we're gonna go down to the fourth option on my screen. Your screen may look a little bit different, but it's going to be activity log. All right, so here it shows all the activity you've done in your Facebook account. I mean, you might even be surprised at some of the stuff that's in here, but we're gonna go over to the left-hand panel, and now we're gonna go to log to actions and other activities. It's the last option in between this little dividing bar right here, at least in my menu. And it's gonna show you at first login activity and stuff, and that's not really what we're looking for. And it opens up this drop down list of a bunch of stuff. And you might notice the first thing you'll see when you start scrolling down, you, if you're skimming for the word marketplace, you'll see marketplace seller information. That is not where you're going. You're gonna go a little bit further down to marketplace listings. It's right underneath live videos you've watched and game app searches. It took me a second to find it even though it's just right there in your face. Um, so before I was making this video, I had to look, but marketplace listings and here is going to show you all of your listings on marketplace in a kind of a, to me, a simpler list. And same thing. What I love is if you go to these three dots right here, the only option that pops up is delete, which is very convenient for us because that's how we're going to use keyboard to kind of quick delete things like this. So you can hit delete and then you'll notice you have to hit delete again. So if you actually uh, leave your mouse over where these three dots are, you can just simply hit enter, enter, tab, tab, enter, and it will delete. And as long as you keep your mouse right there, you can do this and you can write it down if you want, but it's enter, enter, tab, tab, enter. So two enters, two tabs, enter. So. We're gonna, we're gonna do that for a second. I'm gonna hit, and I'm just gonna stare at you to show you that I can do this without looking. So enter, enter, tab, tab, enter. Enter, enter, tab, tab, enter. Oh, and you might mess it up a little bit, but it's so easy to quickly recover. So if you just do that over and over again, there, unfortunately there is no select all, delete all. There's no mass deletion option. And um, from what I understand, there's not a software that makes it very convenient either. So this is the best way for you to go in and delete your listings very fast. Put on a podcast, put on some music, 
you know, watch something, get your, get your groove going on your keyboard, and delete all your listings. One thing before you go that people do mistake sometimes is if you are actively selling right now and you're currently getting sales, or you've made sales within the last week or two where maybe it's important to keep a hold of some of that information, it might be best not to delete those listings yet. I have run into the comments on my old video and in my Facebook group over and over again talking about people doing this, not really thinking about it ahead of time, and then realizing that someone wanted to do a return or had a complaint or something. And then they have to go back and not look at any information other than they usually can find it in their messages. If you go to your like marketplace communications, you can kind of see some of the information that people were communicating with you with, like through. But it, it really just becomes a pain. So it's best to keep listings that you have any suspicion you might need to keep. So just, I guess I just want to warn you, keep that in mind. I don't want you to fall into that panic. It usually works out okay for people, but again, just if you can avoid a little bit of extra stress throughout this, why not? And you might be asking yourself, Cameron, why would I want to delete my listings at all anyway? Some people, it's just a preference. There's a lot of theories around it. Marketplace isn't what it used to be at the moment, and people aren't getting as many sales, so it, you know, your brain starts to get creative, and it starts to be like, well, maybe if I got rid of things I'm not selling, my account would be more in favor of the Facebook gods or whatever. Some people just want it to be organized, or some people just don't want listings on there at all because they get messages from people, and they would just prefer not have that listing. Some people are big sellers, and they don't want people to be able to look at their profile and see all the listings that they've had to, to kind of copy their successful listings that were in the past. So the, whatever your reason is, this is the method to get it done. This is how you delete your marketplace listings on Facebook Marketplace. And if you're a dropshipper and you want to be part of my VIP dropshipping group, I have a link in the description for that. It's $10 a month. It's for sellers and, and learners and anybody that's you know beginner to expert. And it is just there's no spam. You get one-on-one -on -one communication with me, questions answered, all that kind of stuff, and we can kind of collaborate. And you know, if I don't know something, maybe somebody else does. And it's just a good space for that. And it's kind of a smaller community. So if there's like a hundred people in there, if we give away best-selling products and stuff like that. You're, you're not really going to be competing with thousands of people. It's just a few amount of people are even going to list it because when I post something, hell, only 25 people usually even see it because that's just how Facebook works. So just know that if you're in there, you have a small group. I also have a Marketplace course that you get for free if you're in that group. It's a full how to sell on Marketplace course. And I'm coming out with a lot more how to sell on Walmart Marketplace content. And that's going to be all free for the people in the VIP group, but it's gonna be a $600 course once I'm done with it. So VIP group gets it first as I make videos. So just putting that out there, gotta plug something for you. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.